Hello viewers, today we will be making this dress, uh, baby dress that can fit a baby who is one year to or 15 months and this is the front of the dress and this is the back. You can see we are using the laces as a bar to play the role of the button. At the same time, when working this dress, you need only two balls of yarn. This yarn, uh, this is known as single in my country, Kenya. You need two rows of this. You also need a crochet or a, which is four millimeters in size. You will need some scissors to do the cutting here and there of the yarn. You will also need this hook for them and you will need some beans for the leaves. Welcome to my tutorial and kindly ensure you subscribe to my channel. We will start our project by making a slip knot. Then from there, we chain 110 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Continue and make one hundred and ten. Okay, we have completed making one hundred and ten chains. I've also added six chains, and from there we had three more. One, two, three, and put our first and double crochet at chain 4 at chain 4 then we chain 1 skip 1 chain go to the next put a double crochet and you continue putting double crochet in every chain until the end of the round so continue working until we approach the last three chains. Okay, we have approached the end of the round. So we are going to do the last chains and then this uh, three chains remaining. So we chain one, then skip this, go to the second to the last, make a double crochet, then the last one and double crochet then chain three turn your work put a double crochet and also make a chain to respect the chain which is here then land to the main body and put a top and double crochet followed by a front post and double crochet then skip this go to the next put a top and double crochet then a front post double crochet this is how we will be mainly working skip this go to the next put a top double crochet then a front post so it is skipping and then putting a top double crochet and a front post double crochet throughout this round until you finish I'll meet you at the end. Okay, we've completed the round. We have approved the end of the round. So we chain one and then skip this, go to this, put a double crochet, two double crochet, one on the uh, double crochet and the other one on the chain that we made last year. Then from there we chain three. We turn our work, put a double crochet in this stitch. Always when you come around here, respect the chain, so you chain one, go to the main body, and we are now going to work around our three double crochet, and we will be increasing our work after every uh, three stitches. So we have for one, two, then the third stitch, uh, third stitch, 
the fourth stitch we put the two double crochet together and we start counting one again so this is what we have then we start counting one two three four in number four we put two double crochet together so that we can grow the yoke of this dress so continue and finish the round once you finish you repeat round two we are going to meet we have finished the round and this is what we have for the yoke now we are going to do the last bit the last stitch stitches then we turn chain three turn put and double crochet chain one to respect the chain go to the main body and we will be putting double crochet but we will be increasing at chain number five so we have to we start counting from here one two three four five so we increase or we put the two together at stitch number five in order to grow this yoke now continue working and increasing at stitch number five one two three four five you put the two double crochet together so finish around and you repeat row two then we are going to meet this is how far we have gone in our yoke making now we are going to take the round of three double crochet where we will be increasing at stitch number six so I have already worked these two as the way i've already shown you so we move on we start counting one two three four five then in stitch number six we put the two double crochet together in order to achieve the increase so continue working this way and then you complete this round you turn to another round of three double crochet and increase at the stick number seven okay this is our yoke this is how far we have gone this is the front this is the back now we are going to work or to connect so that we can start the journey of creating the handle and uh, to connect the two pieces or the two signs we will not turn back and clockwise again we are going to chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 actually it's 11 so that you'll be able to trace the center of the these ch the long chains so we connect our work at the top chain that we made here we connect our work with a slip stitch then we chain one two three so this one is our first in double crochet and we continue uh, putting double crochet without respecting the chain anymore so where we were putting the chain we are going to put uh, a double crochet and continue with the double crochet all around then from there we were back in making the hammer but for this round it is just all around 
we put reasonable crochet so continue working okay we've approached where we made the chain so we are going to complete this area and remember we are not respecting the chain anymore we are putting a double crochet and going on so we are going to make double crochet in every chain that we have Remember we have 11 chains, therefore we will have 11 double crochet. And see what we are getting, continue until we meet here, where we are going to end the round. Okay, I have completed the round and marked the center stitch, that is the 11th stitch or stitch number six that is the, the, the center one so we are going to join our work with a slip stitch then we chain one and they cut the yarn so that now we can start working from the center of the dress remember this is the side so we cannot start working or continue working from the side we will fix our, our yarn at the center here and continue now working to create the hum hole. Meanwhile, we will go off camera and count our double crochet so that we can be able to share them in between the, the two hum holes, the back and the front. So kindly count yours, I'll tell you how to share them. Okay, we have finished counting our stitches and we have 240 i have divided to create the humbles the humbles are carrying 62 each uh, while the back is carrying 58 and the front is carrying 58 and this is the center where now we will be working or we will start doing our work so that we can create the ham holes and continue with the rest of the dress so we insert our hook and then make our first stitch chain three we are going to do this pattern that we did here after doing that you make a front post and double crochet then you skip this, go to the next, make a top and double crochet, then a front post. And we are going to continue with the pattern until we get where we have our first marker so that we can create the harm hole. So continue working. Okay, we've reached where we are supposed to create our first harm hole. So we put our last and double crochet. Then we chain three, one, two, three, four. Sorry, we are chaining four, and then skip all the way and put a double crochet. Then we remove the marker, remove the marker, and put a front post in double crochet. Then we proceed working skipping and then working on one stitch top double crochet and a front post and double crochet continue working until we get where we have the other mark you can see we have created our first ham hole so continue working to create the second ham hole we are going to chain four one two three Four. then we put a double crochet where we have the marker and as well get the marker out but don't lose the trace so that here we go 
This is our second humble. We continue working until we raise here. So continue working. Green our work with a slip stitch to the band chain and then we chain three and we continue with the three double crochet until we get to the area where we need the, the chain of making the ham hole. This area so continue working. I have already joined the first ham hole and this is what we are going to do. We just put double crochet in every chain that we have made so that you end up with the four double crochet because we made four chains. Then from there, you just continue working until the end of the round. You can see what we've done. So our two hammers are complete. And complete the work up to here. Okay, we are going to close our work with a slip stitch. And then from there, we make a different, a slightly different pattern. So after closing there, we count one, two, three. In the third one, we put six in double crochet together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when there are six that way, we move again, one, two, in the third one, we put a single crochet that way. So this is the pattern we are going to work out until the end of the round. So we move again, one, two, three, we put a six in double, a cluster of six in double crochet. A three, four, five, six. That is what we have. One, two, three. We put a single crochet. So we move that way until the end of the round. One, two, three. This is where our cluster should be. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we move one, two, one, two, three, put a single crochet. So you continue until the end of the round. Okay, we have completed the round where we are making a cluster of six. Now we are going to close our work with a slip stitch and start another round. So we put our slip stitch here, not a slip stitch but a single crochet. Then we put, we go to the first stitch here of the cluster and put a slip stitch. Then we chain one two, three, this becomes our first double crochet and we continue making double crochet on top of every stitch in the cluster of six until the end of the round. So we are going to do two rounds of three double crochet that way. When you get to the area where we have the single crochet, you just skip it and then go directly to the double crochet or to the other cluster. So continue 
and finish two rounds of three double crochet then we are going to knit okay we have finished the two rounds now we are going to join our work with a slip stitch and they start working this row this row this row that you are working up here where we were skipping okay let me demonstrate one two three that becomes our first double crochet then under it in the same uh, uh, stitch we put a front post then we skip this go to the next put a top double crochet then from there a front post Just skip one, then work with top double crochet and a front post in the same stitch. Continue and finish the round. We are going to connect. We have completed the round. Now we are going to join it a slip stitch. Then from there we chain one, two, three. That's our first in double crochet. And in this round, you will be putting double crochet all through, and we we'll do our increase as at stitch number five. We put two double crochet together. So it is just a normal round of three double crochet where we are increasing at stitch number five. One, two, three, four. You can see I put two together, then we start counting again. One, two, three, four, five. We put two double crochet together in order to grow the scatter skirt of this dress. So continue working. You meet at the end of the round. Okay, we have finished the round. Now we are going to join our work with a slip stitch and then chain four. Sorry, chain three, one, two, three, and you put a uh, double crochet in the next stitch. Then we chain one, skip one, go to the next, put two double crochet following one another. Not in the same space, but they are following one another. Chain one, then go skip one, two double crochet, different spaces, then chain one, two double crochet, continue working until the end of the round. Okay, we join our work with a slip stitch. Then we repeat this round again. One, two, Okay, we join our round with a slip stitch. Then a slip stitch again inside and we start making clusters. We just keep one, two, three, four, five. So we put our first cluster of seven at this number six number four chain. We are putting seven. We have three, we have four, we have five, six, seven. Then after putting seven, we skip this and this we put a single crochet. Then from there we skip the chain, we go to this other space here and put a cluster of seven again. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we move again. We put our single crochet on top of the two stitches here, then skip this and then go to the next, we skip the chain and this stitch, then put another cluster of seven. We have five, two more to go, six, seven, then we skip the chain, come in between the two stitches, and the last one we put, single crochet, and you continue working this way until the end of the round. Let us complete the round and then we start putting. Okay, we are going to do it with putting our last single crochet here. Then after the single crochet, we go to the first stitch of the cluster and put a slip stitch, then chain one. And we are going to continue putting single crochet all around our clusters. So all around. You just put a soon in the video. So continue and you finish the round. Okay, we finished the round where we are putting single crochet. We close our work with a slip stitch. Then from there we chain three. That is our first in double crochet. We put our next in double crochet. Then chain one. Actually we are repeating this row and we are going to do three of them before putting this pattern again or the cluster again so you skip one go to the next stitch put a double crochet another double crochet chain one skip this go to the next put it two double crochet following one another not in the same space chain one skip this go to the next put it two double crochet again following one another then chain one so continue and make here we made two rows so here you make three of them then we are going to knit okay this is how far i have gone i decided to work with two but you can still work with three and have repeated this row here and instead of putting six i added seven so that we can group sorry eight so that we can expand the skirt or, or the dress to be a bit wide now we are going to join our work with the slips a slip stitch then we keep on repeating now we will be keeping on repeating these two row or you can make three or even four depending on what you want, the outcome that you want, but me I work with two and always work with eight, a, a cluster of eight. So uh, we are through with increasing, we are not going to widen the dress anymore. So we just close, we, sorry not close, but we put a single crochet on this stitch. Then we move to the cluster and put a, sing, uh, a slip stitch. Then chain one, and remember how we did here. So you take a round of a single crochet before starting 
with this pattern this pattern and this is what we are going to do until we are sure that our dress is enough so continue working and make sure that you have the length of the dress that you want then from there you need to do the finishing so continue finish this row and keep on repeating this row and this row or these two rows and this this cluster you can even work with a row of three for this but the cluster maintain eight so continue working this is how far we have gone with the one dress i have made 20 rounds from here when i count they are 20 so we are going to join our work with a slip stitch and then start a new finishing chain two <coughs> then put sing, uh, half double crochet in every stitch including the chain until the end of the round okay we have finished the round where we were doing a half double crochet now we do the last stitch and join with a slip stitch then from there we chain three and put a single crochet you skip one stitch put a single crochet in the next then chain three again skip one skip this stitch put a single crochet until the end of the round so continue working okay we have finished the round where we were doing the finishing and this is what we have for our one dress and for us on grown a hand and finished one done the finishing on one hand using the same same pattern of the hemming now i am going to show you how to do the finishing of the remaining hand what you do is you come to where we start and what uh, the first in the double crochet here and they put your uh, yarn of course having made a slip stitch then from there you chain three one two three skip one stitch and they put a single crochet then chain one two three skip one stitch put a single crochet and this is how you are going to continue until the end of the round but remember we are not working at the hand pit the hand pit part we are just leaving it open for the baby to be comfortable so you start with the first in double crochet and the end with the last in double crochet we are not doing the finishing at the hand paste mm -hmm. so continue working and finish the round then i'll meet you here so that we can do the finishing of the back skip one after chaining three skip one and you continue until the end of the round okay we are going to do the finishing of the back and what we do is we come with our crochet and insert the first stitch here and then get the, the, the yarn I've already made a slip knot reduce it to size and then pull through and the chain one chain two then from there you will be putting sing, uh, single crochet until we finish or we go to the other head check how i'm putting and where i'm doing it so that you don't skip just bring the good alignment
put a slip stitch then from there you start moving again with this, the same same single crochet so continue until you get to the end here okay we are going now to fix the lace at the back this will replace the row of the buttons you can see the opening here at the back and this lace we are going to decorate it using these beans I've already inserted them on one side so we are going to work uh, the put the lace then from there we insert uh, the hook on the other hand now uh, we are going to use just a hook to work and we will take it through the first opening here remember we are using these holes not the second holes but the first holes in our work so you insert your uh, your lace make sure it is long you can see how long mine is then from there you go down and trace the main row of the dress that is the main row and insert your lace there or through the opening there then from there you will now be moving this hand from one opening to the other as they are opposite one another so you move this way we insert it here this is our first hole this end then from there that is what we have we go to the opposite hole and do the same yeah the same way you tie your two laces and we keep on moving we move to this other side until we finish moving our lace and after we are through we are going to put the beans on the other head the second head so continue working and finish up inserting the lace which will play the row of the buttons this is what we have we have inserted so we are going to put the beans using the crochet and this is what you are going to do just hook the bean through the hole and then get the yarn and pull through sorry just pull through and push it and you put three you can put three or four depending on how many beans that you have yeah, I am going to put the three. Just to hook the, the yarn this way. Sorry. <clears throat> it's a bit tricky. You have to be a bit careful. Yeah, we have it. And they push it inside. Then you make a slip knot to ensure that they don't slip out. Make a big slip knot. That is it. Then you trim the yarn. And if you have a dress is ready to be worn by the baby, that's how beautiful it looks.